welcome to another edition of Zol Connect right here. And we do this every Friday on the Zol Connect Facebook page. Thank you so much for joining us if you have. Uh, if you are able to, we would appreciate if you share this link with everyone else, some of your friends, share it on your page. Let's see if we can get as many people as possible to watch this video with us. Now every Friday, we link up here on this page to find out what's trending on the internet. Because as you know, Zol wants to bring the internet to you. You deserve to live like this. My name is Danny That Guy. And today, we got someone special who we are sitting with. We've got Mr. Fresh Ink TV himself. His name's Joseph. Thanks for coming through, my man. Thank you, Daddy. Appreciate it. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Really so, uh, Fresh Ink TV has had several trending videos over the past couple of months, and uh, we thought we should get to the bottom of this and find out the person behind them and see what's going on. Uh, but in the meantime, just a reminder, if you want to drop a comment onto the Facebook feed, I've got access to it right here. So I'll be able to read your comment. If you've got any questions for Mr. Fresh Ink TV himself, if you have any uh, comments that you want to make, we can get those involved in here as well. All right, so let's get into it, shall we? All right, Joseph. All right, Danny. So uh, I think, first of all, a good way for us to be able to introduce you to people right. is to let people know what Fresh Ink TV is. So maybe the best way is to get the, the, the video. Shall we get the first video up first? Let's get the video. All right, so this is one of the videos that was trending very recently. You might recognize it. So this is Fresh Ink TV right here on Zol Connect. Right. What's your name and occupation? My name is Born Fresh Ink What's your occupation? No clue. When did you say more like? Me, uh, read up my dues. My dues. Yeah. Let's own it. In in. Let's stand door in there and door truck. And let's own it. Tonight I'm for in in terms of which I like you move pen you no stand down no score or shit. Didn't do score. All right. I'm going to find I'm going to find the good thing. Is an egg. A fruit or vegetable? Zai. A fruit can a vegetable? Ah, zai ma ma fruit. I am going to find. I am going to learn more. I am going to be with my kids. I am going to go to the village. And this was. What language do blind people speak? <laughs> all right. <laughs> First of all. <laughs> Anyway, um, so as you can see, Fresh Ink TV is all about, you know, uh, interviews, skits, little videos uh, put together like that. So you tell me, man, uh, well, what's, what's the whole concept behind Fresh Ink TV? Um, I'll tell you about how Fresh Ink started. Fresh Ink was like a... 2015 was a book. We came together like young people in Zimbabwe. We wanted to make like a difference in the country and everything. And then we decided to come together to publish a book of like poems and stuff. So we published the book and we launched it in 2017. And then after that, the group just kind of died down, you know, like people were pursuing other things, like going to universities. And then I was like, you know what? Let's take Fresh Ink to another level. Let's actually like um, get people involved, go into the streets and ask people questions um, about at that time, it was like about opinions, or like mm. you know, rape, um, other things, that, like social issues, serious issues, serious issues. So it wasn't like comedy. It or wasn't anything. like comedy. Mm. It was like serious issues, rape, uh, teenage pregnancies, but it wasn't getting, it wasn't getting like that much traction. So I was like, okay, let's try, let's try new things. You know what I mean? Uh, so we decided to try like funny questions mm. just for comedy. At the time, it was like we're using like smartphones. Mm. Didn't have a camera. Then 2018, I went to school. Uh, I bought my first camera, microphone, tripod, and everything. And then decided to try out like funny questions because mm -hmm. you know I was inspired by people like uh, Rag Ghana and people are like, world well, hip hop in the US mm -hmm. and everything. So it's like okay, let's try this in Zimbabwe and see if it works. We tried it. People liked it, and then like the saying, keep them coming, mm -hmm. keep the videos coming, and that's what we did. And Right now we're like one another step, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah. You know what? This is actually my first time meeting Joseph over here, uh, the man behind Fresh Ink. Right. And I, I was surprised because you seem like a very serious guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, it's like this is, this is a regular, you can meet him in a regular business, business meeting or in a boardroom right. somewhere, you know what I mean? And uh, you're the man behind all this comedy. I'll, so it's interesting to hear the backstory behind it. I'll tell you about because people like the, the, the serious face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they ask me, 
how do you keep a serious face when you ask these questions? Because like these questions are like hilarious. Yeah. People ask me how do you keep a serious face? I think uh, people actually like that face. You know, like don't even like they say don't even change it. We like it like that. Yeah. Like, that's the Joseph we know. It know? works, right? Yeah, yeah it works. works. I think so. The whole serious face during the jokes. Yeah. I would never have been able to keep a serious face. So, uh, I actually try to keep a serious face whenever I do interviews because p- people like it. Yeah. Like half of the comments are like, how do you keep a serious face? It's funny. Like, how do you not laugh? And I'm like, that's just how it is. How do you keep a serious face? So like that's like what people like. Yeah. So just try to. It's like if people know you for something, you should try to like keep it like that. That's cool. What I try to do. Yeah. That's cool, man. You know what? I think one of the things that I would love to clear up is. Yeah. And, and I, you kind of mentioned it in, in your story, but I think just for the sake of us having it clear on the record. Right. You are not hired by anyone to do this. You are not doing this on behalf of anyone. Fresh Ink no. TV is you. We're not sponsored by anyone. Uh, I work with like. Um, Two of my relatives, yeah. my brother and like my other friend, uh, we just like go out in the streets. Mm. We, we, we're, we're not paid by anyone. Mm. We use our own money to. I use my own money to buy the cameras and everything. Um, we don't get paid for. We don't make adverts for anyone. Just like we do our own stuff. You know, we don't, we're not paid by any company or anything like that. Cool. It's just us doing our thing. All right, man. So Freshing TV does uh, skits and interviews, and uh, Joseph here tells me he's done over two thousand interviews. Right, two thousand, man. Two thousand. We've done like two thousand, but we've only like uploaded like less than I think two hundred interviews mm-hmm. so far. So like, there's a lot of things to be edited, yes, to be uploaded. Because um, if we have the time, I was like upload them, but like now we're like busy with other things. Mm-hmm. Who does the editing? I do the editing. So you do the shooting, the interviewing, the editing. Yes. The shooting, there's help, but the editing part is... I've been using Premiere Pro to edit, so it's kind of like my cup of yes. tea now. Mm-hmm. Like, it's easy for me to just, like, throw in clips, um, edit them, change the colors and everything. So it's mm-hmm. easy for me to edit, so I am not really complaining about that part, you know. That's cool. Yeah. So that's the interviews. Let's talk about the skits. <laughs> Um, so you also do like little comedic skits, my jokes and whatever. You, you were telling me just now about your most viewed video. Yeah. Which one was that? Uh, I did the uh, when Winkidi was recording Mugadi video. Yes. That video got like a hundred and seventy thousand views right now. On YouTube. On YouTube. All right. All right. You know, YouTube is very difficult to get a lot of views, but yes. that video is like. Yeah. Ask me. I know. I've got. I uploaded I've a got, video. I've got my, my, my thirteen views. <laughs> I put the video out. And then this, I put the video on Instagram because that's where like I'm based on Instagram. Yeah. And then this other friend of mine says, ah, why don't you upload this on YouTube? Because I think YouTube is like a good platform for this. Like, ah, well, we'll see about that. Then after two days, like, I'm serious, do this, put it on, put it on YouTube. And I did, I put it on YouTube and like, the next day when I woke up, it's like 6,000 views. I was like, wait, <laughs> <laughs> what? Then the next day, like 13,000 views then I was like okay this you is didn't promote thing. it I you didn't do anything you just left it as it is left it like that I think it's because people are like searching for we can do yes. you know, like, they, like they, they see this video like well, what's happening like, <laughs> they see this video and then like after about like a month we had like 100,000 views hmm. and then now it's, it's still like it's still growing because I see like the views keep on increasing nice. every day so I think that was my my best video. That's dope, man. Let's check out the video. Actually, we have a clip of it over here. Can we play it? One, two, three, action! These are imagine you and me today. A panting getting. Okay, I think you are with the dirty. Who's going to be using them scanner? Over a train of a senior camera room, a quarter of the tea. Monica connection, get a bag at So train of a summer room, but I'm going to go to the Okay. Which is Oshi, um, Oshi Badam Skana Padam, and One, two, three. 
Last day, not to airport, you want this. Over Ramba, over Kanda Mashuri. We are true there. Action. So no da, ini doi da chero. Hasi usa zonchi samu chero. Ko agu chigap chere pana chere mda. Ma ya pana zonu far ramu. Kos mandai kora. Epa ofana ku chigas. Ya chigama epa seng de manu. Anyways, ni poye pana chini bojwa foot. Fresh Ink TV, man. <laughs> Shout out to you, man. Thank you, man. Do you know what? <laughs> It's hard making content. It's not easy. It's hard. Yeah, I mean, you gotta, first of all, you had, like you said, you had to invest your own money to get the equipment. Right. Then you have to go out and speak to people, and sometimes people don't always want to speak to you, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you gotta speak to people, you gotta record this content, then you have to go home and edit it. Yeah. I think uh, that's the challenge we have in Zimbabwe. People don't really like cameras. Yeah. In, uh, it's just something that I observed in general. Put a camera there, people change direction. Like, <laughs> okay. Then there are some people like, I don't care, let me just be on, on camera. But now people know us, so they, if they see us, they're like, oh, can I be on an interview? And like, mm. can I shoot a video with you? We actually volunteer to be on the video, so it's actually getting easier for me to get interviews. Because people actually volunteer to come to my show. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. Because I don't like force people to be on the show. It's like, there's been issues before with um, people not understanding what the video is about. Mm. Talking about ah, this is for YouTube, this is for Instagram, then What's next that? thing, maybe the person doesn't know what YouTube is, yes. and then like, they see the video circulating on WhatsApp, they're like, ah, oh, how, how far, like, what's happening? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, like, we make it clear that, like, this is for, like, social media, mm. YouTube, Instagram, so if you're okay with it, then proceed but like if you're not okay with it like if you have like a shadow of doubt then we can't record you because it's very very like it's you, you can get in trouble for that yeah you know so i've been trying to break the the stigma like people you know what would be cool afraid of cameras and stuff maybe if you had like a a very simple um you know just like a simple form that they can sign yeah. Just to give you per permission to use their their footage, their you know. Footage, yeah. But anyway, yeah, I get I get that why that's difficult. And then it's I really think the ultimate difficulty is the cost. Yeah. Um, do you make money off of this? Um, YouTube YouTube pays us for for the videos, but Instagram is just for like popularity. Yeah. Um, for YouTube, I think you can get paid. We're not that big enough to make like significant amounts of money, but like. We're growing slowly, mm. and in the future, maybe after like two years or something, we'll be like making a significant amount of money. Mm. For now, it's just like to get people to know what yeah. Freshik is about and what we do. We're not like into making money, but if we if we do make some money, I'm okay with it. I can, you know. Of course, obvious. <laughs> I would love to make some money, but for now, it's just like it's not really. Yeah, for people to know what Freshik is about. Man, you, like you said, you've been doing this for a couple of years now. Two years now it's or like so? Close to two years. Yeah. And I, the idea, 2017, and now um, it's close to two years. Now. But the bag, still, do you know what? Still. Like we're saying, it's so difficult to make, to make content, and there's very little return. All there is is, right. I thought that video was funny or whatever, you yeah. know? Um, I think, yeah. I think... Um, because 2018, we're not that serious. Uploading once in a week. Mm. So people see a video, they forget about it. But now, like, we are, if you see the content now, like, for the past month, it's like every day, two times a day. Oh, nice. Every day. Um, and the followers are rising. Um, YouTube is increasing. We're like 1,000, I think, last year. Subscribers. I think, yeah. Mm. January, we're like 1,000. And now we're like, Close to 
close to 3,000, I think. Nice. Mm. So, like, yeah, yeah, we are rising. I think the more you upload, yes, the more the algorithm favors you and everything. You know what I mean? What makes it worse as well is you told me that you're, you're currently studying yep. outside I, of Zimbabwe. Yep. So that means you only have a short time to record yep. while you're here. Uh, so what I do is I come back home maybe December or like maybe like May to June. That's my holiday. I record some stuff. I go back. I post it whenever I'm free. And then like I come back. I do some more videos. I, I post it out. And then when I come back again, keep on the process until like I graduate. I don't know what I'm doing when I graduate, but for now that's the plan, you know, to keep things going. Because people want people want content. Yeah. They want to, like they want to see you every day. So like, how far, man? How far the video go? How far the say that's not a video? I'm like, I'm busy. I'm at school. I'm working. So it's kind of like tough. Listen. But, a plug here for Freshing TV. If you want to advertise on his channel on his Instagram, his stuff goes viral. Hit him up. I'm sure yeah. my DMs they can hit you up. My DMs, I'm a DMs, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, commission car, ten percent. You end up. Do you think you I could would, do a TV show? I think so. Yeah. Actually, the problem with um, we wanted to do a TV show on ZBC. Mm. Once you like finalize, like you know, monetary issues. <laughs> 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 I think we can work something out because uh, you don't want to go on the streets, spend a lot of money and not mm. get the returns. So we are like talking to some people from ZBC and maybe soon enough we have like a TV show every like Thursday on ZBC. Like after the, maybe after like a popular show or before the, one of those dramas, we have like a, a show, maybe a 30 minute show of Fresh Ink, people get know about it. I don't know. We are still like talking to them. So we'll see in the future how that would be cool, man. I'd love to see Fresh Ink on, on TV, just right. on, uh, whether it's on ZBC or any, uh, if we have more channels coming up, or I guess for now we just have to be okay with it online. Yeah, I think that's the challenge. Cause I spoke to a couple of people also um, who like make content, like why don't you uh, post your stuff on mm. ZBC? They're like, ah, Marisha, 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 Marisha. Big shit. Big. People want, people want to be paid for making content. Yeah. That's why people go to YouTube. Because YouTube, if you put a video, you get paid for that video. Mm. You don't need to wait for anyone to verify you or to... Mm. I don't know. But that's why people go to YouTube. And not ZBC. Because Marisha, I wish with my you know. That's the challenges we have as like, content creators in Zimbabwe. About YouTube, in English, we are in Forex. So tell me how, how, how a typical planning session, you're getting ready to go out into the streets. How do you find uh, the question you're going to ask? How do you find the people you're going to speak to? We have like, a lot of questions, um, more than a hundred questions I have in my phone, my notes, uh, questions from the internet, from suggestions, from DMs, people DM me with questions to ask. Um, and also like from other people who are doing the same thing in, in like, other countries. Like Ghana, we, they have questions, they have good questions, and like what world start hip hop, they have good questions. Uh, so like the night before, I call my friends, tell my Mangwana to get a say Mangwana, and then yeah. like, Mangwana, I bought you, Mangwana, I bought you, but what time? It's really 1 p.m. though, like the, like, the yeah. time. Then uh, the, that morning, I wake up, buy some bread, um, eat my breakfast, I go out. Hey. Mr. Mr. Moneybags over here buys bread. <laughs> <laughs> Used to be. <laughs> uh, then I collect two of my friends because they live, they, they, like, they live close to me, so like, it's easy for me to just yeah. go to their house. Then my other friend lives in like very far away. I go take him out and then to end in the streets. We, I think we don't plan like where we're going. We just like, that's where the picture, that's the one of Hawanda. It was like, Places around like, Hawanda. Like, oh, Nasi, let's try out, okay, yeah, yeah, but right. let's try out that place. We go there, um, put our cameras down, and then, like, people just, ah, good dishes, I'm like a suitcase thing. Some people just, like, come, want to talk. Some people, like, we have to ask them, we're doing this thing, like, are you interested? They're like, yes, then we can interview them. But, we have like a little drone that we have right now. If you fly a drone, 
people just like come together just a group or not teach guitar and stuff so that's one way people gather up because like you fly it or like ah chichi 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 guitar like see a drone <laughs> and then that's how we get people to like come to us and stuff that's and cool. then sometimes we have like a thing here where you do like if you get all the questions correct you get like a little bonus which I will not mention but you get something slice of bread <laughs> you get something from us yeah, but, but so, when was that time time ga when we go when we go to expose and chala you know someone will be watching with Iowa but my Zimbabwe surely ngo funze mundu how many continents are there in Africa no i think Try to make us look good, man. In front of the no, camera. Don't do that. <laughs> in front of the camera, your knowledge just disappears. Yeah. You might be smart and everything, but like <clears throat> once you're in front of the camera, like, yeah. things just disappear, man. Like, I've, seen, my lights. I've seen things happening. People give me like weird answers. Tell me, tell me some of the most weird, weird questions and answers you've had. <laughs> yeah, one of the you know the boss jag when dream papa. How many continents are in Africa on Zanzi? Many five, like I've been happy and the north, south, east, west, and the central, things like that. <laughs> Seems and legit. Then, like seven, what is seven plus six? Um, people saying it's twelve or it's ten. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I don't know, I don't know how it happened. Like I've been seeing like a trend, but I've told you that I've done like more than two thousand interviews, yeah. and um, I look at them. I, I like make a study out of them and like I see that people are like more than 25 and above they get the questions correct most mm. of the time people are like 18 to 24 are the ones who like fail the most mm. for some I don't know what reason it is but like they fail the most is it because we are not as well educated as we think we are or we are not as smart as we think we are as Zimbabweans what do you think I think we are smart but I don't know what the reason is Uh, those that like 18 to 24 age group people just fail the questions for some reason say on class 6 what's a pharmacist what's a farmer if you ask like the, that video as the lady what's a pharmacist she she knew like oh I think I'm a PhD and stuff like that but like any other i think i asked the question to about 42 people mm. who are like between 18 to 24 only two people got it correct pharmacist so mm. just tells you how like different we are from that generation maybe it's a generation thing i'm not sure but mm. it's just different interesting man yeah. all right cool so let's just say i'm um, i'm a young person i've got my phone that's all i've got a right. camera and i want to make content maybe it's not going to be the exact same as what you do maybe right. i want to do something else maybe i want to do sport or maybe i want right. to do could be comedy or whatever the case is what advice would you say because it's difficult man to get views and to get it's numbers I would say um, don't wait for don't even wait to, to to have a camera just start with what you have your phone your Nokia or your Huawei Samsung or you can start with that mm. because that's how we also started using like a an iPhone 4 and that one that time like you know how poor the, the camera is mm. on that phone but that, that's how we're using and now we have like a camera and everything I think don't wait for anything don't wait until you're ready there's a saying as don't wait until you're ready to start making things uh, you can start with your phone whatever you have you see what you, you make progress don't don't think about the money also um, it just, also yeah yeah just think about the passion if you have a passion for it then the money will come later just do what you love and people will just follow you and mm. you make money out of it nice so that's my advice to young people who want to start don't wait for anything just go out and do your thing cool so we've been talking about fresh ink yep. we're going to wrap up in a moment but i mean apart from fresh ink there you yep. also have your own life yep. sir joseph yeah uh, what do you do uh, apart from um i'm a student i study at to west virginia university in the us what are you studying bro <laughs> i know i just want i want i want you to hear from his own mouth mm. i study mathematics of actual your science <laughs> computer science and computer engineering nice one man. so i'm trying to do like three degrees um in four years hopefully that will work out i graduate next december if everything goes like according to plan i graduate next december um and then i'll try to get a job 
you know how stressful it is. By December, you're going to be making crazy money, man. You're, you're not going to need a so job. We'll see how it is. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. So that's the plan. I also work at the dining hall. I make pizza. Oh, really? I'm like a pizza guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like, if I'm not at school, I'm working, or, like, I'm editing videos in my room. Because, that, like, that's fresh ink, my job, and my school. That's what I do most of the time. Yeah, so you're a busy man. I come back here, I shoot more stuff, I go back, I edit, I post, I work, I make some money and, you know, come back. Just, I think that's pretty much what I do. Mm. So, yeah, that's pretty much myself. I live in autumn. Um, I'm 23. Um, yeah, that's good. Man, shout out to him. This is Joseph Mahia. Thank you so much for sitting with me, man. He's the man behind Fresh Ink TV. Look for it on Instagram, look for it on YouTube. You can find a lot of these funny videos, funny interviews, little skits like that. A couple of big shout outs coming through from uh, Facebook. Uh, big shout out to Kunakwashi Murinda, who says great videos, man, from Fresh Ink TV. Uh, big shout out to uh, Sandy Lemaposa, who says respect, bro, it's organic traffic. Um, a couple other people as well. Shout out to um, Dean Drizzy Juchure. Shout out to uh, Tamutswa Pride, to Regis Pedsai Chipanga, everyone who's tuning in and is absolutely, absolutely enjoying the Fresh Ink TV videos. Thank you, man. Yeah, I man, so check that. it out. All right, cool. This is Zol Connect. Every Friday, my name is Danny That Guy. Uh, here, we're at the Zol premises where we managed to bring Mr. Joseph here. And let's see if we can get uh, some more videos coming through from Fresh Ink TV. If you ever see them and you forward them and you share them, now at least you know where they came from. All right. As for now, don't forget www.zol.co.zw is where you can find an internet connection so you can actually watch these videos. Uh, you can't go on Instagram. It's not, it's not, mad. It's not, mad. It's not internet. <laughs> so www.zol.co.zw. Otherwise, thanks so much for tuning in. And that's another Zol Connect in the bag. You deserve to live like this. Thank <laughs> you.